what is going on so today is the coding update video and you already seen from the title i'm finally starting to learn react so it's been like what a little under two months or so i don't remember can't really keep track but for the past around less than two months i've been learning javascript uh, basic html css and i finally decided to just go and peek at react see what the hype is about and let me tell you it is for some reason for me it's like it's way easier to understand than it was when I started learning JavaScript. I don't know why. Maybe the stuff on the course that I'm following is just that good, but even people I've talked to, they said that it's much easier to understand than JavaScript, which maybe, but uh, here's just some code I was following from a front end master's course. And this was the beginner version to React. And let me tell you, I initially took this, I had zero, zero knowledge of React, and then I took it. And I was, I was just completely clueless because the whole concept of the course was about building a, essentially like this adopt me type website. And when I first saw this, like right now, now, now that I'm reading it back through the code, I can kind of understand it. But like, like I think it was like 75% or some somewhere through, I just messed up something and I couldn't fix it. So I was just like, you know what, let me try to find another course that's much better. So right now I'm in a different course. I already took another one from Scrimba and I'm gonna make a review video on that in the next few days because I'm in their actual um, premium course now on React and it's pretty good, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna make a review on that one. So if you wanna see that, definitely I'll give you my thoughts on this, but uh, quick update, you know, nothing crazy. And for some reason what's different is that I'm like learning more JavaScript while I'm learning React. So it's like a it's like a win-win. I mean, obviously they're essentially like built upon JavaScript, but it's weird because when I first try to learn JavaScript, which I was still learning it too. I mean, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm pretty much clueless, I guess you can say, but I know enough just to like recognize how things are and what things do. But in terms of like building something from scratch, obviously I had to look stuff up. But when I started doing the React stuff, I was like, okay, so this is what constructors are. They're using it here. And then just simple things that in most of the course I've seen for JavaScript, they were just like, throwing these definitions and terms at you and it's just like overwhelming i have no idea what's going on but then again react is like all right here we're gonna import react from react then we got these right here and then essentially got another importing pet from this far right here and this is much more complicated i still have to learn more about um some of the syntax in the other course i'm in but like we have a little component action going, so animals and just little things like this that make it 10 times easier to understand versus JavaScript was just like throw it out there. So I'm still gonna learn some more JavaScript just to like freshen up everything, but just wanted to update you what I've been up to and definitely let me know in the comments below uh, what you're currently learning or if you are learning React, what uh, projects or resources that you have found that are really good because I haven't really looked around for React because there's like a billion JavaScript courses, but I found that a lot of them aren't very good in terms of making you actually understand them. They're more of just like throwing you the definitions and then hoping that you get what they're saying. But uh, if you do know any, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me along my coding journey, watch me learn code. And then I'm making, I've been making tutorials on like basic HTML, CSS, and just like slight JavaScript stuff recently. And they say the Feynman, Feynman, I don't even know how you want to pronounce it. The technique where you pretty much teach people what you're learning is the probably the best thing I've found to actually understand coding. So I'm going to eventually, once I get better at React, I'm going to start making simple tutorial apps. And I'm just going to base it off other um, things I've seen and then just like tweak it up for myself. So if, in case you haven't seen my previous tutorials I've been making, there's no tutorial or on YouTube or like a stack or overflow or any like place where you can find exactly what I created because I made them essentially with an idea from scratch, but then I used other tutorials or I went on stack overflow, even I went on code pens and like went through the code and deconstructed it and try to figure out what they did so that I can actually learn. Cause if I were to just make a video where I just copy and paste someone's thing, like I'm not learning, I'm just straight copy and pasting. But when I actually have to teach it, and then code it first, then teach it and code it again. And then I have to edit the video with me coding it again. It's like triple, I'll say uh, triple seeing it. So it's much more, 
efficient than me just going through like a billion courses out there. So I'm gonna try that too with React, see what happens there, and then eventually I'll get into like no whatever, whatever other languages are out there and stuff that I need to learn. But right now, that's my update on my coding journey. Let me know where you're at. And if you haven't again, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.